Today, I want to show you how to quantize drums in Cubase 9. Hey guys, Chris here from Mixdown Online. Now, if this is your first time here and you're into music production, mixing, recording, mastering in your home studio, just click on the subscribe button below and the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Right now, quantizing acoustic drums, okay? And I'm talking about multi-track acoustic drums, okay? So there's a way you can quantize that in Cubase like you can do in other DAW and it can be very practical, you know? But before I start quantizing, I always ask myself why I wanna do so. If uh, the drums, for example, in the pop rock situation where you have a lot of drum loops going on mixed with the acoustic drums, in this case, I will definitely uh, quantize the drums, okay? Even if I only have to work on one part, because that will happen, you know, there's a lot of situations where I am going to work on one section of the song and not the entire song. So that's one situation where I would quantize a multi-track acoustic drum. And in some other cases, it's just to you know, bring the groove a bit more solid, you know, close to the grid. And, um, you know, so it, the song feels better and feels more tight. In this case, I'm going to quantize the drums as well. Sometimes I'm going to do the, uh, I'm going to fix my drums manually without using the technique I'm going to show you. So it depends, you know, it depends on the genre, it depends on the, the, the recording I'm working on. So it depends on a lot of factors, but you know, point is I'm gonna show you how to do it in Cubase 9. So this way, you know, you'll have the option to do so if you need to. So first let's listen to the drum groove we're gonna be working on today. Okay, so now I have the click going on at the same time, and you can hear that the drums are a bit rushy, you know, at some point. So this is not too bad. I could actually fix that manually, but uh, uh, let's do it with the quantizing option here, okay? So first, what we need to do, okay, is to bring all of these tracks into one folder, okay? So I'm gonna select, okay, all of these, and uh, right-click, Click on Move Selected Tracks to New Folder. I'm going, I'm going to call this Folder Drums. And there you go. Now, on this folder, okay, on this folder track, what you have here is a group editing option. Okay, so when you select that, what's happening is the minute you select one of these tracks, they're all been selected. So um, they're ready to be edited at the same time, which is very practical and very easy to edit um, several tracks together. Okay, as far as they are in the same folder, you're going to be able to edit them together. So we're going to need to use this option to do our quantizing. So, but for now, I'm just going to unselect that. I'm going to deactivate it and I am going to click on, the, yeah, I'm gonna first do a backup, okay? Let's say I don't like the end result. I wanna go back to the its original state. Uh, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna select all of these tracks and I'm gonna click on track versions and duplicate to a new version. This way I have a backup. And I'm just gonna go back to version one and I'm gonna work on the first version. If I don't like it, I can go back to the original state of these drum tracks. So now let's double click on the kick. I'm gonna work on the kick drum and the snare drum, okay? So by double clicking, I'm gonna have my editing window here, my edit window, and I'm gonna click on hit points on the left side. There is the threshold, okay? I'm just gonna zoom in on the wave here. Okay, so now we see all of our transient, okay, of the kick drum. And if we bring down the threshold, some hit points are gonna be created. And this is what we want. We were looking for Cubase to create hit points. Okay, so now we have all of our hit points created on the kick track. Now I'm gonna do the same on the snare. Double click. Bring my threshold down until I, I, I see some hit points. And then I'm just gonna verify uh, this snare track to make sure all of the hit points have been created like in this case, okay, if we put that in solo. Okay, this is what we have. So we're missing two hit points. 
Okay, I can bring my threshold lower, but the thing is, the more lower you get your threshold, the more transient it's going to catch. Okay, at some point, if the threshold is too low, it's going to catch more than the snare. Okay, so um, let's say I want to create some extra hit points here. Okay, instead of bringing that threshold lower, I can do so by clicking on the Edit Hit Points option, and then by clicking on Alt or Option on Mac, and then you just bring your mouse close to um, to the uh, the place where you want to you want to insert the hit point and there you go you have new hit points manually inserted on this track perfect now if you want to remove okay if you want to remove a hit point you know you you, you want to do it the other way around very simple you do the same thing you make sure the edit hit points is selected is activated and you click on shift and then you're going to be able to remove any hit points. Okay, so I'm going to bring that back. Now, uh, next, um, I can do the same with the toms. Okay, let's do so. Let's do the same thing here. And I'm just going to select a place here where I hear the toms. Okay, so there you go. Here are my toms. I'm going to bring down my threshold. And there you go, I'm just gonna bring that down until I see hit points here. Okay, perfect. Um, same for the tom, the floor, sorry. Okay, all right, now, I am gonna activate my group editing option on the folder track, okay? And I'm gonna open my quantize panel by clicking on the on top here, okay? Or you can select edit and quantize panel. So, what do I have here? First, once my panel is open, I'm gonna click on the kick drum, and then I have everything selected, okay? All of my tracks within the group, within the, within the folder group is selected, and uh, we see all of these, uh, the red, the red points are the hit points that are in priority. Okay, and where you can select the priority is right here in this quantize panel window. So I'm going to bring the uh, kick sub out of the way, and I'm going to give priority to uh, the kick drum and the snare. Okay. Now at some point in this song, there's a few sections where the snare and the kick are playing at the same time. So in this case, what I want to do is give the priority to the snare. Okay, I'm just going to bring the kick to four stars and keep the snare to five stars. So this way, when they're both played together, the priority is going to be on the snare and the kick is going to, you know, is going to be snapped to the snare hit. Okay, now um, I have a, uh, a swing option here, okay, because on this song, the, the groove is a bit swingy, okay, there's a kind of a swing to the drum groove. Okay, I want to keep that, so I'm going to, you know, Put the, uh, the swing at 70%. And now the IQ mode is pretty cool, is, is actually how much you want it to be quantized to the grid, okay? So how much close to the grid you want it to be. If it's at 100, it's gonna snap to the grid at 100%. Now I'm gonna put that at 85% for now. And uh, let, uh, let me mute this. And then, um, so yeah, so this way, you know, it, I can still keep a kind of a human feel to it. So it's going to go, it's going to quantize it to 85% um, to the grid, you know, which is, which is good, you know. So let's, you know, even bring that higher to 90, okay. Um, now, uh, next thing to do is to click on quantize once, no, 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 no. Before, there's one more thing that is very important to check out is your grid. Okay, now my grid is at um, a 16 of a note, which is, you know, what I need for this song. So you need to, um, yeah, you need to make sure you have um, the grid well selected, okay, to the tempo of your song and to the playing of the, uh, the groove and stuff. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to select a 16 of a note. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to quantize to a 16 of a note. And then I am ready to quantize. So I am first going to slice, okay, these, um, these tracks to the hit points. Okay, and then I am going to click on quantize. So everything is going to be quantized together. And there you go. 
Now, if we look closer, we have some gaps, okay? Now, if we want to fill up these gaps, okay, we're going to click on crossfade. And there you go. All of these events has been crossfade within each other. So from that point on, uh, what I suggest you to do, you know, especially on a drum track, is to work on the crossfade settings, okay? You can actually activate that by clicking on the E option right here or by double clicking on the crossfade uh, junction right here, okay? So uh, what I do first is I select equal power, okay? So this way the amplitude stays the same, way more smoother on a drum kit anyways. And then, you know, if you want to bring your crossfade a bit closer, you can do so uh, by just, you know, make sure all of these tracks are selected and just bring them a bit closer. This is what I usually do. I tend to just bring them a bit closer than what I have um, as a default value. And then you can nudge, you know, the, the place of uh, the crossfade itself by clicking on this arrow. You know, if you want it to be a bit closer to the hit point, you just click on nudge. Or if, you know, if in your case, your crossfade is directly on the hit point, you can actually move that um, by nudging this to the left a bit, okay? So, and then you, uh, that's it, you're done. Close that window and let's listen to what we have with the click. Pretty cool. That's pretty tight. So I actually have a, an electronic drum loop, okay? So. That sounds pretty cool. Now it blends well with the drum loop. So let's say you're stuck with the drum feel that, you know, uh, doesn't sound that good when it's quantized. What you can do to reverse that, um, what I do on my side anyways, I select, let's say I just wanna remove the, uh, the quantize off this drum feel. What I would do in this case, I would just select these events, delete them, even this one and bring back that event so you don't have any quantize going on on this uh, on these events okay okay because you know at some point you can be stuck with a, a drum fill that doesn't sound natural and stuff and it sounded better as it was before so that's the way you can uh, you, you can you know reverse to its original state so there you go guys that's the way I quantize uh, multi-track drums in Cubase 9 again that can be done in Cubase 8 8.5 7 7.5 6 I believe um, you know so if you don't have Cubase 9 no worries that can work out in other versions of Cubase all right guys so that is going to be it for today if you have any comments or questions leave them below and don't forget to subscribe to share and like all right guys I'll see you next time.